What's up, everybody? Next day, it's Saturday. And we're gonna look at the planter today. We're gonna look at the planter, get that all hooked up, hydraulics, electric, monitors, and um, then finish up the sprayer. Work on monitors, GPS, make sure the rate controller's working. And we're gonna start putting water in our tank here. So once we get uh, ready to spray next week, we got some water ready. And I don't know, we'll see what happens after that. It's a beautiful day. It's only 40 right now, but it's supposed to be up to 60. So probably gonna have to do some ATV riding. UTV, UTV riding. All right, let's do it. Well, we started off getting some water running into this tank. It's a 2,500 gallon tank and we're filling it with the hose, so that'll probably take all morning while we're here. Once it's full, we'll build the, I mean, load a couple times out of that. Then I can start filling the tank on grandpa's truck too. We'll be good to go. But we're gonna go check out the planter here. Josh apparently kind of hooked up to blue, but we still need to get all the hydraulics and the monitors and that stuff hooked up. Well, Josh did some remodeling in here. Not remodeling, moving around. Put the combine over. You got 88 in here. Grab his truck back in there. And then both planters right next to each other here. And then 94 next to him. So he, he's got her jammed in here pretty good. I was telling him he had to work on his Jenga skills because we are just really low on space. That new barn can't come early enough, so. But he got it all in here. That's nice. I don't, really don't like leaving stuff outside, so. It's nice to see everything's in here. It looks like you got all the hydraulics and the electronics hooked up. I'll have to run through the monitors at some point when we get it out, but. I don't think I'm going to get it out just for that. We can do that another day. We're not not that close to planting yet. We still got at least a couple weeks. So that can be next Saturday project. Get both the planters out, make sure the monitors work. This one sank down on us. They're supposed to, these braces go in there. I'm gonna lift this up and put those in so these stay up. Um, but besides that, I don't know if there's much I need to do with the planters. Might just focus on uh, getting that sprayer ready, I guess. And filling our tanks up with water so we're ready to go when we get there. Yeah, I think, I think we're good to go here. Did end up pulling the full 270 out. Couldn't get it to fold quite right, so I'm gonna pull it out and get these locked in and see, uh, see if I can get her to fold up right. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Pick up the ton, then you gotta fold it in, and you set it back down, and it locks it all in the center. But sometimes the wing doesn't want to fold in far enough for it to lock down on there. It's kind of a pain, but it's not that big a deal. You only really need it when you're transporting it. But we got it locked in there. Sometimes you just gotta play with it a little bit. Now we're just getting around the way and get Grandpa's truck out. They'll light up with water too. Let's hook up our monitors here and see what happens. 
That one's plugged in. Plug this one in. This one works. That's you can use the same hydraulics. So number four is hooked up to fold it and use the markers, which we don't use the markers a whole lot, but there we go. Better 2020. This is like precision. Tells you like your spacing on the seeds and if your rows are planting. This is the actual monitor for uh, for the planter. It doesn't really do a whole lot. The only thing we really watch on here is uh, the fan speed. So when we kick the fan on, it'll tell us, see, same low limit that there's not enough fan going. So we can kick the fan on. Lots of beeping. Our hydraulics are way too high. Kick it on here. I think we wanted it around 3,000. You just adjust your hydraulic flow speed right here. We don't even have a hopper sensor, so I don't know why that keeps going off. There we go. It's basically running this fan here. Right here. And it's blowing the seed from the hopper up these tubes. Up these tubes right here. And it runs each row. You can turn rows off and on here. Basically blows the seat in like this. And this meter goes around and drops them out the tube. So we got air. This one isn't a vacuum. This one actually blows air. It's a little different. Most, most fan planters like that our vacuums and they'll pull the seed whereas this one pushes it but i think we're good to go on that i really do love this planter it's kind of i mean we didn't pay very much for it it's not the nicest planter ever but it does a really really good job and you can knock some acres out with this thing that hopper that's where you put all your beans in it can hold up to two boxes so you can you can plant almost 70 acres without stopping and uh yeah it's just really nice it's kind of a pain to hook up there's a million uh million wires it'd be nice if it was all tied into like one bank or something but it's not it's kind of a pain to hook up man but once you get going you can just go it's it's almost like doing tillage when you're planting beans with that thing. You don't have to think about too much. You just roll. I did a video. I'll put a, a link up here on the top. But I could knock out 160 acres in one day. I, that's just ridiculous because I'm used to planting with our 15-foot drill. Where if you did like 40 acres a day, you were doing good. So, yeah, that thing's awesome. And fire up old grandpa's truck here and get this tank full. This tank being full is more important than the tank out there being full. We can fill this tank off of that tank, but we really need this one full. Ugh. Old faithful. I'm sure she'll fire up. I probably won't now that I say that. Oh yeah. Old Faithful. You usually don't have to worry about this girl firing up. I think we're gonna let this big tank fill for a while. It's up, it's already up to about 450 gallons. And then once we get ready to leave, 
I'll switch it to this tank. This one holds 1500. This one holds 2500. So I'll let this guy fill for quite a while, hour or so, and then I'll switch it to this one. And when we go work on the sprayer, we can let it fill that one and come back later and shut her off. Put the planter back away. I put that in front up old grandpa's truck in and right behind here when we get the water in there. But uh I don't think there's much else I need to do with the planters right now. Worry about those next weekend. I think I'm gonna work on the driveway a little bit before I go home and work on the sprayer. This thing just it just looks bad. The way we got it all tore up and just kind of left it, so. I'm gonna try digging a little bit on that, try and get a cleaner looking at least. And then, uh, like, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, I'll go home and work on the sprayer. I'm gonna throw you on the side of the barn here and you can watch for a while. that nice but I'm gonna need something to haul the stone out here with taking it bucket by bucket would take forever Josh was saying he had a buddy that had a little dump trailer that'd make a big difference we could haul it out here and just dump it could have used grandpa's truck before we put the tanks on there but I don't know I almost got stuck there that one time I had to work my way out pushing myself with the bucket that was pretty close it's still really wet right here where we were digging before. So I'm just ready to get that project done so it looks nicer. It looks trashy right now. It's all dug up, front yard all dug up and in piles, but we'll get there. It's progress though. It looks a little better than it did. At least got it out to the road now, so it looks like we're at least making a driveway. Before it was just big mud pit well i think i'm gonna look close stuff up over here switch that water over to grandpa's truck so i can start filling that tank and uh go work on the sprayer we have a shitload of that asphalt song lab so we can pack it in there pretty thick i'll show you here it's by the truck I guess we can leave that tank filling for a little while. I can come back, switch it later. That way they're both full. Yeah, we got a bunch of that stone. I think we originally got like 30 loads of it. We did that whole barnyard area out there, or Josh did. Cleaned that all up. And we also did this area. Someone wants to buy that corn head. Call me. Email me, someone buy that. So it's not just sitting back there. But we're heading home.